Hi there, after understanding the product rule, we can also understand the quotient rule of differentiation. Here definitely we will have a function which will be composed of two further sub functions which will be in the form of a quotient. So let us see that how we can uh, differentiate such a function. Again we are assuming that the uh, first sub function is small f and the second sub function is small g and they are differentiable at uh, point x and the other uh, function that is the second function is not equal to zero when we differentiate it while keeping x is the independent variable and choosing a certain point for its differentiation and this is important because it will appear in the denominator so gx if it becomes zero it will make this expression an undefined expression causing an infinity therefore we avoid this and we uh, consider that g of x is not equal to zero so that this function that is capital f of x is not an undefined function here we are the quotient is developed and explained and here we are choosing the variable x and a certain point at which we are differentiating the function when we do the differentiation it is quite a bit similar to the product rule because if you uh, overlook this uh, denominator and if you only consider the numerator it is very much similar to the product rule the only difference is that we have a minus sign in between instead of a positive sign which was there in the product rule otherwise the first uh, first uh, sub function is differentiated the other is kept is as, as it is and here the second function is differentiated while the first one is kept in its original form whole divided by g of x whole square so this is how we will apply the quotient rule here in another form it is written uh, in a more simplified form so both of these forms are representing the same thing and we are going to do a numerical example here so we are going to find out the derivative of this function and we are also going to find its numerical value at point 4 just like we said differentiable at a certain point and this is the function so here you see above the division sign we have a numerator which is the first sub function that is small f and below the division sign we have the second sub function which is g of x here f of x and g of x now we have written them both and now we can easily take the derivative of these two because as per the formula we will need the derivative of f of x as well as of g of x which definitely are not given in the given function we have to find them out and here we are differentiating f of x with respect to x we will get f bar of x you can pause the video and see these steps and we can also take the derivative of g of x to get g bar of x and this will be the result of it so now we have all four values that are required for the substitution in this formula as you can see f bar x is substituted here g bar uh, gx is written here minus is remained as it is f of x is written here g bar x is equal to 1 so it is also written here we must not forget the denominator in this case because it is an integral part of the uh, derivative and definitely it should not be equal to zero now we are going to take the square of its original form and here we are the original function g of x was equal to x minus 2 so we take its square now we can do this simple algebra you can pause the video and see these steps this will be the final result this is the uh, result of f bar x now we uh, are going to find out the answer of this derivative at a certain point which will give us a numerical value which will be further and easily interpretable so let's put x uh, is equal to 4 here and when we do uh, it will become f bar of 4 or add 4 so in place of x I'm going to write 4 I'm going to solve it and I will get minus 1 over 4 so you see it's a numerical answer of the derivative 
and it makes more sense it shows that this derivative is having a negative value and its magnitude is less than 1. So you see that uh, a negative value of this function shows that a negative slope of this uh, function exists. So this is how we apply the Gaussian formula by using this formula. And uh, this is how we can differentiate such a function which is appearing in the form of a quotient. So this was the Gaussian rule of differentiation that we have understood and solved numerically as well. Thank you.